joined by one of Toronto's very best chefs, Sebastian Diego Galucci. I have to ask, what does that Diego stand for? Diego Armando Maradona is the name. Diego Armando Maradona Dios, as you guys like to call him. Diego is my favorite player of my life. Um, my father's favorite player, my brother's favorite player. He's a legend in Argentina. He created magic. Um, he's a beautiful, beautiful guy. And they say you shouldn't meet your heroes. I met, I met him. You met him, and I, how was that? I met him really young. So now I got to find a new hero because I don't know who to meet now. that moment when you met him, how old were you? I was six years old. Okay. And I still remember my father telling me that Diego's coming to Toronto. Um, he came to my dad's restaurant. He came to my cousin's house. We what had, did he eat? He did a parishada, which is an asado, entrania. He had some pasta. Um, the experience of a lifetime. My name's supposed to be Diego Armando Maradona Gallucci. And my mother said, Ma, are you crazy? <laughs> that, would have been, that would have been a pretty bad name. <laughs> I like Sebastian Diego. Yeah, Sebastian Diego Gallucci. It's a little bit more proper and it's, it's good. And what was that experience like? I mean, you were six years old. Your hero was in your dad's restaurant. Did you talk to him? What did he say? Yeah, I mean, he didn't speak much English, but it was, it was just to see him and like to be there. And like, it was an experience of a lifetime. We, we grew up with, I mean, I grew up with his nephew, Diego Maradona, he, which lives in Toronto. Um, he's a beautiful guy as well, and he's, he's amazing. Anytime we are in Argentina, we go to Diego Maradona's brother's house, Lalo. They take care of us, they give us a big parishada, we have fun together. So we grew up knowing, loving, and admiring Diego Maradona. I think he's one of the best soccer players in the world, still. And an experience of a lifetime to have in my dad's restaurant. And there's a picture of you with Diego Maradona. What's the story behind that picture? I looked terrified. I was a little blonde guy like this, big head, big mullet. Um, just going to the park. He, uh, he went to the park with all of my brothers and a bunch of other people in Toronto and we all just kicked the ball around. And it was like experience of a lifetime to kick the ball around with the best player in the world. Did he give you any tips? Did hey, he show off? He told me to cut my hair because uh, the mullet was too long, but other than that, it was good. And here we are today with no, no mullet. No mullet? It worked. I'm fresh. <laughs> <laughs>